Another huge, huge improvement is the way that Studio One now deals with groups, right? Yes. This, this is potentially one of the biggest changes that we see in 4.5. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is that the way... Studio One has always had intelligent groups. It's an intelligent DAW, so it would assume if I want to group these channels, I want to be able to edit them together, mix them together, solo, mute, and everything right. like that. But there's cases where you need them to be separate. You know, you want to be able to say like, I want to edit these as one, but I don't want, I need to mix them separately. And in that case, this is, this is a great example. Uh, let's say you're editing a podcast or something, but it could really apply to anything. You've got three different tracks. We want to create a new group, so I can give this a name. It's got, it automatically adapts like a smart name. Now we have this oh. new option here where we can click this, and now we see our groups. Mm -hmm. So check this out. I right click this. We now have group attributes. Mm, right. So if you were mixing this podcast and you wanted to create an edit group, you wouldn't right. want anything else attached to it, right? Right. Just to edit, and then the, I still have individual control of the volume, of the levels. So, so, so that this application would be, you know, let's say if the the three guys on the podcast spoke at different levels, or maybe you had somebody that's really dynamic, you would want to have those faders independent. But when you're doing the edit you'd want them to all be grouped in the edit window. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. So, and it's worth pointing out that Studio One has always had really smart multi... In fact, I stopped using groups when I used Studio One because if I multi-selected channels, they move together as one and the right. sends yeah. work and the plugins. Yeah. But that being said, now that we have these group options, I would, if I have a mixed group set up only, I never have to worry about grouping those channels together. That's right. Right? That's right. So here's an example. We've set this group attribute to be editing. I make a selection across one channel. You'll notice that it no longer selects all three of them. Right. It will only select the one in terms of the actual track or channel select. Mm. But the editing is following. So I could do the group editing with these as I, whatever I need to do. And it's going to be a, an edit group. But then at any given point of time, I can mix do things yes. like that, right? Yes. And yeah. So yes. being able to decouple the editing with the mixing, that's, that's huge. huge. Yeah, it is. Opinion. It's huge. Right. Yeah, that's uh, a feature that I, I, I gravitated yeah. to immediately, like, oh, wow, this is, I started using that one, like, right away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's very, it's, it's very useful, right? Right. 